you guys, it's Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. Today I am doing something a little bit familiar to those of you that have been watching me for a while and also something new and exciting. So you know that I have been doing these Stash Builder Box unboxings for a while now, maybe a year or so. Um, recently, Amanda ended up, I guess, selling Stash Builder Box um, she had her like 18th child or something, not 18, maybe fifth, fourth or fifth. She has a lot of kids. So she was having a hard time managing everything with the business. And I don't think she really anticipated it being as successful as it was. So she just needed a lot of help. So she reached out to the folks at Cotton Cuts, which is a similar but different, um, concept to what Stash Builder Box was. And now all of Stash Builder Box is being run through cotton cuts. So me and the cotton cuts people, her name's Kimberly, um, have been working together and decided that the best way to do this would be for me to do an unboxing of Stash Builder Box, continue to do that for all of you guys, as well as a cotton cuts box. So this first video is going to be a bit of a comparison of the two and I'm going to try to do my best to explain what the differences are, but there aren't a lot. So it might seem the same and that's okay. Um, they're both awesome um, and with slight, slight differences. Um, so I have three boxes here and they all look the same. So I don't, I don't really even know which one is Stash Builder Box and which one is Cotton Cuts. Um, but hopefully as I open them, I will be able to figure it out. Um, the first big difference between Cotton Cuts and Stash Builder Box well, first of all, I should say it's not even called Stash Builder Box anymore. It's called the Modern Maker Box. Um, so MMB rather than SBB. <laughs> um, and the big difference is with the Modern Maker Box, you get three one yard cuts of a new modern line of quilting cottons um, and you get no say in what it is. Um, cotton cuts, you get six, you could, you can choose between 12 fat quarters or six half yards. Um, and you get to set some preferences. So you get a little more say in what you get. You get to, you know, say whether or not you like bold colors or more simple colors. Um, if you do or do not like batik, for example, and you can, you can set all of those parameters so that you're getting, um, a variety of fabrics that would be appealing to you um even if they're not all from the same collection that said okay it looks like this is okay so this is definitely a cotton cuts it just looks different first of all um it has a bunch of cards in the front so there's a hello um there and then oh okay and then it has the contents which they like checked off so the options are batik floral a reproduction a holiday slash seasonal fabric a juvenile or children's design blenders um or something from the cotton cut vault so it looks like i got things represented by floral reproduction and blenders so that's exciting um and then the designer Cotton Cuts Designer Spotlight, Meet Designs by Sarah J. So it talks about Sarah Maxwell. Um, that's cute. And a few of her fabric or her quilt designs. And then it's, this is actually really cool. If you are a quilter, it looks like these are, these would sort of fit into like a recipe box. And they even have the little tab. Um, so I assume you're supposed to put these in a recipe box type of thing and help yourself stay organized. But there are two different block designs with the instructions on the back, like really simple and straightforward. Um, it even indicates if it's easy, intermediate or hard. So you know where you fall there and they're cute. One is like, a they don't have names or anything. I don't think one's like an X and the other one's kind of like a snowflake or a starburst or something like that. Really cute. Um, then you get two little stickers and then you also get another pattern that you can download and it gives you instructions on how to do that on this little card. It looks like the pencils have made their way <laughs> into cotton cuts, which is awesome. I love the pencils. 
Um, this is cut, sew, repeat, and stitcher's gonna stitch. So, one navy and one black. I've said before, I use these all the time. Not just for sewing. I, they're all over there at my office, they're in my bag, they're everywhere. Love the pens. Okay, what, oh, it's a box within a box. Oh, what is this? <gasps> Ooh, it's a zipper charm that says, I love quilting. How cute is that? You could put that on your, I don't know, on a bag that you make or something. So cute. That's adorable. It has like little quilt blocks. Can y'all see? Adorable. Okay, now to the good stuff. So it's like a box within a box. How cute is that? I feel like this has something to do with the size of this feels similar to this. Something's got a something's happening here. But I just feel like I didn't get the memo. So I don't know what it is. I'll reach out to Kimberly and find out if I'm missing something. Okay, so the first one I got, easily recognizable right off the bat, Rifle Paper Company. This is the um the LaFleurs. So that's cool. I can't remember. No, I didn't. When I got Rifle Paper Company from Stash Builder Box, it was the Alice in Wonderland one. So this is a welcomed addition to my stash. And again, I got the six half yards for cotton cuts. You can do 12 fat quarters if you'd rather do that or six half yards. Um, this one is, shoot, now I don't know. Yeah, after that, I don't know. Maybe it's on the selvage. It's this, um, like, pinky purple, which I love. All it says on the selvage is Studio 37. Swirly Pearl Girl. Which isn't even on the card. See, now I'm confused. Anyways, it's Swirly Pearl Girl, number 7748, Marcus Fabrics. Studio 37 fabric something. Sarah J. Designs by Sarah for Marcus Fabrics. A shout, a whisper, a text. So that must be the, I'm getting it now. That must be the fabric line. So this belongs with that. This is considered a blender. This one is cool. Kind of reminds me of robots. Let's see, is this, yeah, so this is going to be a shout, a whisper, a text. Yeah, so this is going to be another Sarah J design for Marcus Fabrics. That's cute. It's like the same magenta and then red and like an orange and like a purple. Again, it looks like robots or like, I don't know, modern DNA or something. Um, this one is really cute, has a super bright yellow background with like gray, like light gray and dark gray letters or words all over it, but it's like those, um, are they called anagrams? Like, that you would text. So it's LOL, YOLO, BRB, ILY, TGIF, so many different ones, like little emoticons with a smiley face, super cute. This one would be adorable as like a, um like a laptop cover or like a iPad cover. Wouldn't that be fun? Cause like, you know, I take my laptop with me just about everywhere. So this is like texting kind of. Cute. I love that one. Um, this one is, what did I say? Oh, this was the reproduction one. So this is Hello Jane by Cluck Cluck Sew for Wyndham Fabrics. Isn't it pretty? It has a mint background with like navy, orange, yellow flowers and some green leaves. Really pretty. That one's adorable. Again, I only get half yards in these, so I can't really make a top or any clothes. Um, but I can make like different accessories and gifts, you know, as the holidays come around. Um, this is a great way to get six different fabrics. Um, the last one is, let's see who makes this one if it says, um, it's another Allison Harris for Cluck Cluck Sew so Wyndham Fabrics. So this one feels like retro, I guess that's what the reproduction means. And maybe these two kind of like go together a little bit, I don't know. Um, but this one has like, I don't know, are those acorns? It's like a, like a beige background with like mint and blue berries i don't know something like that on there really sweet really charming adorable okay 
So that's the first Cotton Cuts box. That was from July. This one, oh wait, this is, it says on, no it doesn't. Does it say? No. Okay, so then let's see what this one is. All right, this feels like another, nope, this is Stash Builder and I recognize it instantly because it has the little quote card. I love that they kept those. So every day is an adventure, so enjoy the journey is what this one says. Um, this is Little Town by Amy Cinibaldi for Art Gallery. So we've got um, some Art Gallery. Cute. Oh, let's see which ones I got. I, they send a card that has like all nine. So they pick nine fabrics from the collection and then everybody gets some combination of three of those. So not everybody gets the same three. Um, so I'm excited to see which three I got. The pick of the month is a Modern Maker box exclusive. I'm gonna have a hard time remembering to call it Modern Maker and not Stash Builder. Um, this is called Grateful. It's cool, it's like <sighs> circles. <laughs> What are those shapes called? It's like circles with like squared off corners um, and then squares in the middle. It looks like that. Cute, huh? Um, or that. That's a better picture. So you can learn to make this. Um, and then I got a pencil, of course. Sewing is my superpower. I feel like I've gotten some of these quotes before. And I was just saying the last time I did one of these, how they never repeated the quotes. Hmm. Um, blog of the month is digital as always. So you can go online and search the hashtag B O T M S B B. So they kept that blog of the month stash builder box B O T M S B B. So check that out. You get your same Orifil thread with the modern maker box. Um, this one is like a greenish color. Um, and then, so they're packaging these the same way now. The same way as the cotton cuts. So that's cool. Um, before you Before they used to come. Now I don't remember. Okay, so here are my three fabrics. And they are like sort of holiday-ish. Which I don't hate. Because they are cute holiday. They're not like in your face red and green. Okay, the first one is these little gift boxes. Like mint green and baby pink. Different shades of green and there's some gold ones in there. How cute is that, right? With a little dot in the back. Can you see the dot? So adorable. So cute. That is so sweet. Really, really sweet. That's the best way to describe it. And again, in the mega, no, in the modern maker box, you get a full yard. You get three full yards. Um, so this is one yard of this. And then you get this dark green background with like, you know, holly berries or something, but they're like coral and baby pink. Really cute. Again, the, these fabrics would make great gifts, or if you make gift bags for your gifts for the holidays, that would be awesome. And then this one is like, okay, so it's Christmas trees, but it doesn't really have to be Christmas trees. It can be kind of just like a modern geometric design. I apologize about the lighting. I don't have my overhead lighting hung yet, um, and the sun went down, so I've only got lighting from one side right now. So sorry about that. But yeah, it's got gray trees, pink trees, like baby pink, medium pink, and a dark pink. Cute. Very, very cute. I got some um, neutrals from Art Gallery in the spring, so this might be a good compliment to those. Okay, so that's the stash builder box from August. So I'm assuming that this is the cotton cuts box from August. Let us see. Okay, nope, it's another stash builder box. So maybe this is stash builder, modern maker <laughs> um, from July. Maybe that's what this is. 
and I haven't gotten my cotton cuts for this month yet. Um, always believe something wonderful is about to happen. Oh yeah, that's right. This is the July Modern Maker Box. And this is the collection. Oh, it's really good. It's called Merryweather by Amy Gibson for Wyndham Fabrics. Cute. Okay. And so the quilt this month is just this one with like little stars all over it. Supernova stars. That's cute. I do want to make another quilt for this room. So you remember this sofa came from my living room at the old apartment and I put it in the sewing room. And I do want a quilt in here. I have a plan for like a, a TV up there for like when I need to do some hand sewing or I just want to like research and just be in the space, the creative space, you know? So I want a quilt to cozy up to. But clearly I've got so much pattern behind me that I don't really know. Should I just make like a neutral quilt? Like maybe from those art gallery prints? I'm not sure. That's what's kind of held me up. Um, okay, the block of the month again online. Some more stickers, another pencil, cut, sew, repeat. And then the Orifil thread, this time it's like a mossy green. So those are the usual suspects. Here's the fabric. Cute. Very, very cute. Okay, let's see. How fun, I love these. Okay, this is the first one, probably my favorite. Definitely, definitely. This is like totally my speed with like the green and pink. Oh, I'm loving this one so much. And the beige background, so adorable. That needs to be a top ASAP. ASAP. And then maybe like pocket linings if I have any extra left over. So cute. I love this one. It's a great trend. This is like a three season top for me too because it's springy, it's summery, and it would work in the fall. Layered with like a cardigan that's one of these colors. Mm, yes, this is going to happen. Um, this one's fun. It's got like a pretty bright coral background and like little, I don't know, are those cactuses? Bird feet? <laughs> I don't know what they are, but the background is pretty bright, but it's really cute. These are like modern florals, I guess. Modern takes on floral prints. Cute. And then what is this one? So this one says a bunch of different words. Through the mountains be shaken, though the mountains be shaken and the hills wonderful joy ahead. <laughs> In the multitude of anxieties within me your comforts praying be shaken ton i know the plans you have delight my soul count it all joy are these supposed to be like real sentences i feel like maybe someone out there knows what i'm saying this must be from something. Anyways, it's sweet. It's got the text with like some words are like bigger and like in a different text. And then these little flowers. Cute. Although it doesn't make any sense to me. It is really cute. It reminds me of an apron. For Was that upside down? I'm sorry. It wasn't upside down on my side. Sorry. <laughs> Y'all are thinking, what has happened to her? She's lost her mind. So there we are. Cute. Sweet. This little collection together is really adorable. If you look at them all like this. And there were some other ones that were really, really cute. I think I got the best ones, though, if I'm being honest. Although they have a print like this one that has a pink background. So cute. All right. Well, there you have it. So to recap, if you weren't able to ascertain from kind of what I showed you from them, um, the stash builder box now known as the modern maker box hasn't really changed at all. Like some of the packaging has changed a little bit. Like you don't get those little paper, um, envelopes that the everything used to be stored in and the fabrics delivered in a different way but other than that like it's just what you always expect 
really great modern quilting um, cotton designs um, all from the same line mix and match and then the cotton cuts is and those are all one yard cuts so you get three one yard cuts in the modern maker box and then the cotton cuts is six half yards or you can also do 12 fat quarters um, and those are kind of random designs not all from the same designer or the same fabric line or really the same anything um, but you pick things that appeal to you you pick the kind of colors that you like the kind of designs that you like um, and then they will you know kind of curate a selection just for you so there's a lot more variety which can be good it really does help you build kind of a more complete stash that you can pick and pull from from different things um but at the same time like nothing really goes together if that makes any sense so it just depends on really what you're what you need these quilting cottons for. If you're quilting, you might need them for a certain thing. If you're a garment maker like me, you might prefer one or the other. Um, we'll see how I end up using them. If I find a use for the half yards or if I really just need the full yard cuts, um, we'll see how that goes. But I'll be getting a um, cotton cuts and a modern maker box every month for the next few months. So you'll get to see and compare what's coming in each one. Um, they have been super nice and generous and continued sort of the relationship that I built with Amanda, um, able to pass that on to you guys. So the $3 coupon code that I've been offering this whole time is still good and also translates into the Cotton Cuts subscription as well. So again, it's $3 off your first box. Um, use the code inside the hem to get that. And, um, and yeah, go head over to cottoncuts.com and they have um, it broken out by section. Um, the, I think it's called classic cotton cuts or cotton cuts classics, something like that. And then below that they have the modern maker box so you can kind of compare the two for yourself. Um, I'll have links in the description box below. Here's how you access the description box in case you don't know or you've missed one of my other videos. Lots. Lots and lots of helpful information there. So be sure to check that out below. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. Go get some fabric.